beloved greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ how are you all are you happy when we look at this waterfall and hear its sound doesn't it bring joy to the heart for you to enjoy and listen to the word of God happily I am declaring God's word to you with such scenic backgrounds are you thinking where can we find this kind of stream in America there is a state called Oregon in that state there is a city called Portland this falls is situated in that city i am speaking with you from there today the lord wants to tell you an important thing do you know what it is in jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 4 obey my voice and do according to all that i command you so shall you be my people and i will be your god Do you know what the Lord says if we have to be in a close relationship where we are his people and he is our God the Lord says that there is one thing that you need to do what does he say you should obey my voice and do according to all that I command you so you need to think about it are you living according to what the Lord says are you doing as the Lord says Are you listening to the voice of the Lord and living according to it? You might think how will the Lord speak with us? How do we hear his voice? We are pious, we pray and try to live a life that pleases the Lord. Isn't that enough? The Lord desires to speak with you and he is speaking with you. Many a time we fail to hear his voice. When we read the Bible, he speaks through it. Don't you watch walk with Jesus he speaks with you through these scriptures this isn't enough if you wait in the Lord's presence privately you can hear him speak with you carefully don't think you will hear his voice in your ears you will be able to hear the Lord speak in your heart through the Holy Spirit when you wait and pray for this he will definitely speak with you now today In my ministry journey I have completed 45 years. The Jesus Redeems ministry is a blessing to millions of people. The Lord leads us without any lack. Some will look at all this and come to me and ask, "What is the secret behind this?" Shall I tell you the secret? In the year 1971, I got the chance to meet with Brother DGS Dinakaran. a man of god for the first time when i met him in the jesus calls office in chennai he asked about many things with love he inquired of me and after speaking in the end he blessed and sent me when he sent me i asked him now only i have started ministry please give me some advice to which he looked at me and smiled and said brother regardless of whether It is a big or small thing ask the Lord and do as he says that is the advice he gave me it has been inscribed deep within my heart even today listen to whatever the Lord says and do as he says from then i developed that habit in whatever i do lord can i do that can i go to this place for ministry they are calling me to preach in this country shall i go or not I will ask him about each and everything. He will answer everything. Isn't he a god who can speak? You are all full-time ministers. He will speak with you. I work in the office. I do business. I am a teacher. Will he speak with me? He will speak. He is not a god who shows favoritism. You need to spend some time. Wake up early in the morning, meditate on the scriptures. You need to prepare your heart. and wait on him only if you prepare your heart and are ready you will be able to hear the voice of god speaking with you christ saying lord i will live as you say i will wait until you speak with me i will not act until you tell me he will lead you beautifully and you will experience that in any matter i don't act without clear direction from the lord because i hear his voice and do as he says I rightfully call him father and say I have done as you said I will do as you say help me and perform a miracle in this matter immediately the lord performs a miracle for me in your life it will not happen 
In a single day, you need to develop that habit. Make a decision today. I need to hear the voice of the Lord. I should do as He says. Be it matters relating to my children, family or ministry. I will do only as the Lord God says. Try praying and waiting on the Lord with determination. In every matter, He will lead beautifully. Aren't you confused today? Shall we do this or not? What to do? Just go to the Lord. Wait in His presence. Spend some time with the Lord God. Meditate on the scriptures. Wait for the Lord to speak with you. He will begin to speak with you. If you become accustomed to hearing His voice, then very easily you can lead a life of union with Him. So from today, just make a decision. Say, Dear Lord, I commit to listening to your voice and doing everything according to your will. Your endeavors will be blessed. You will be His children and He will be your God. Dear Lord, your children desire to hear your voice. They want to hear your voice and fulfill your will. Speak with this son. Speak with this daughter. Give them counsel in each and everything and lead them. Speak with them today regarding what they should do and guide them, Lord. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, Father. Amen. Amen.